one of the phrases you've been using lately is one called big spirit. What does that speak to, this whole idea of big spirit? Well, we've uh, no, one of my uh, colleagues, superintendents that I've worked with off and on for uh, 10 years is Mark Edwards, who is uh, superintendent at Mooresville and did a great job of integrating technology and culture. So he and I teamed up again a few months ago. We're doing a book with, with Corwin on this, but he said, he said he's noticed because he has a lot of uh, connections that are superintendents around the U.S. And he said there's about eight of them. I can name them just like this. They're diverse. And they have this uh, fantastic uh, kind of more uh, um, ambitious set of uh, that he called big spirit. In other words, it's not just we used to say moral purpose. Moral purpose is, a, I'm going to say, not an exciting word. Big spirit has that sense of, uh, of something. So these superintendents, the way I would describe it, because we're now studying them, looking at them, is that they're implementing things or leading things that are democratic, doing a lot of things we've been talking about in this, in this uh, podcast. They're doing that, uh, and they have kind of transcended the complexity of hopelessness which is really almost there that some of us can succumb to. And they're above hopelessness, causing what I now call learned hopefulness. I, you know, I come, my phrase is experienced uh, helplessness versus learned hopefulness. So what they represented, we saw was uh, when, when we start, when I, I, cause I talked to you, each of them is that they're, they're going, despite the conditions being horrendous, this is, like there's never been a worse time to be a superintendent than the last 12 months. Yeah. And yet they're not discouraged. They're, if anything, said we've got to go better. So these people are going to land on their feet and they're going to do a lot more uh, next over the next uh, year or two. So that the big spirit is that ability to transcend the reality of negativism and see that, that the only response we can have to negativism is to make it better. 